There are calls for justice in our region after a rash of deadly shootings, but some tonight are just looking for answers as to how their loved one died. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom Shad. And I'm Anita Blanton. On 4th of July, Jamel Brown's mother was found dead next to a railroad crossing in Suffolk. It's in an area where people have been hit by trains, but as he tells 10 on your side's Brett Hall, he knows that isn't what happened here. Tom and Anita, the Suffolk Police Department still classifies this as an undetermined death, but tonight, the son of the woman has come forward and he's looking for someone to come forward as he believes his mother's death may have been staged. Jamel Brown says it's only been a few weeks since he last talked to his mom, 52-year-old Olivia Brown. Talking to her during my process of being in the fire academy here. But it was from Charlotte. On Independence Day, he found out he lost the woman he depended on for so much of his life. Olivia Brown's body was found along the Norfolk Southern Main Line, near where North Capitol Street crosses the tracks. I'm gonna miss a lot about him, man. But I want to find. I want to know. What happened to my mother? Cause it's not adding up. Her body was found in an area where another man was killed by a train just three days earlier. But so far, Suffolk police haven't said if that happened in this case. Olivia Brown did have a history of drug and alcohol use, but Jamel says it's conversations he's had with investigators about an incident the day before that make him think someone did something to her. It was some type of confrontation, or some guy down there in that neighborhood. And uh, it was, a, a call came in at 911. He says someone could have placed his mother's body there to make it seem like the train was the culprit. Please, I'm asking, if there's anything that you know about my mother's rules, can you tell somebody, let somebody know? He says he wants justice, but he also doesn't want her life to be in vain. To be the best fireman and AMC that I could possibly be. That's how, that's how, that's how. That's how I can honor. That's how I'm going to honor my mother. And Brown wanted to pass along that he thanks the detectives in the Suffolk Police Department for their work. If you do know anything, call the crime line. Live in the newsroom, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.